Our planet is changing. It may be hard to believe, but the way we live our lives and the daily choices we make are affecting how the Earth functions. It even has a name, anthropogenic climate change. The main cause of the changes in our climate is the burning of fossil fuels. Since 1850, we have raised the Earth's average temperature by 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit. That might not sound like much, but think about it this way. The average person's body temperature is around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And just a two degree increase can be considered a fever. For the Earth, this fever is causing big changes to our climate, which is having major effects on people, animals, ecosystems, and weather patterns around the world. But let's pause and back up. How is climate related to, but different from the weather? There's one big difference, time. Weather is short term and is constantly changing day to day, hour to hour. It's like knowing you need to bring an umbrella today because it's raining. Climate is the average weather conditions in an area over a long period of time, typically a 30 year average. It's like knowing what different types of clothes to keep in your closet. It can take hundreds or thousands of years to change the climate, unlike weather, which changes day to day. So how does a warming earth affect climate? Over time, continuous increases in temperatures can lead to big changes in an area and vary from region to region. For example, the southeastern United States, including places like Florida, are experiencing hotter and drier summers and wetter autumns. Over the last century, human activity has caused this rise in average global temperature, and we know it is a result of humans and not natural phenomena because of the rapid rate at which it has occurred. We've experienced record-breaking heat in recent years, with 2023 being one of the hottest years ever recorded. And records continue to be broken in 2024. The summer of 2024, for example, was the warmest on record in the Northern Hemisphere, in 2023, about 80% of Americans reported that they personally experienced an extreme weather event, such as large-scale forest fires, floods, heat waves, and hurricanes. These aren't just random events. They are part of a bigger trend. As global temperatures rise, the climate becomes more unpredictable, leading to more frequent and severe weather events. This is pushing us near a tipping point. And if we pass this tipping point, the changes in our climate could become irreversible. But there is still time. People are working on solutions all over the world to help avoid reaching this tipping point and to help communities adapt to these changes. Take Doris Brown from Houston, Texas, for example. After the devastating winter storm of 2021 left her and many others in her community without power for weeks, Doris transformed her home into a solar-powered climate resilience hub. It is now well-stocked with essential supplies to support her neighbors during future storms. Resilience hubs, such as the one Doris started, are vital in underserved and low-income areas, where official aid often arrives too late or is inaccessible during disasters. Doris's efforts are supported by organizations that work to address environmental injustices and provide resources to communities historically left behind. Her leadership has empowered her community to be better prepared for future climate-related challenges. Let's take a moment to reflect on how climate change has affected your life. Have more sports games been canceled? Maybe you've noticed more insects in the summer, or warmer or colder Halloweens and spring breaks? Talking about climate change with your friends, family, and community can make a huge difference. It can raise awareness and lead to collective action. In fact, a group of young people in Montana won a groundbreaking court case, arguing that they have a right to a clean and healthy environment. The judge ruled in their favor, declaring certain Montana state laws unconstitutional because they limited actions to reduce greenhouse gases. By coming together, these young people were able to change state laws and make pollution regulations stricter. That's a big impact. And your voice and actions can make a difference too. 
We can all work together to help reduce the impacts of climate change, whether it's starting an environmental club at your school or encouraging others to reuse, repair, and upcycle clothing, every action counts. Let's start the climate conversation. Together, we can work toward a sustainable and resilient future for our planet. Thank you.